kids! So excited to connect with you guys today in your home. We have an amazing thing, amazing lessons today that we're gonna share with you. And um, Miss Angie, I have I have a couple of fun things that I want to share with you. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, so I have some jokes. Okay. Okay, here we go. You ready to hear the first one? Sure. Okay, here it goes. Okay, what do you call a dinosaur that is sleeping? I don't know. A, a dinosaur! Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. All right, number two. What is fast and loud and crunchy? Fast and loud and crunchy. Mm. <laughs> a rocket chip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, I, I, don't, I have one more. I have oh, one no. more. Okay. Why did the teddy bear say no to the dessert? <laughs> Because he was already stuffed. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I love you. This is the best I jokes ever. I love you too. I love you too. We, okay. I think we have like some stuff to do. Oh. That was great. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds <laughs> good. Are we right? Are we, should, we, should we connect? Should we, should, we should, we, should we tell them what's going on? Yes. What is going on okay. today? Today. What is happening today? I don't know. Park and praise. Park and praise. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that. We yes. are going to be able at six o'clock tonight, we are going to be up here at OC. You guys are going to stay in your cars. Stay in your car. And enjoy an amazing worship It's going to be so much fun. You and have some encouraging to come. words from Pastor. It will be great. And so much fun. Guess what? What? We have a surprise for the younger kids. We have a craft. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so fun. Every kid is going to get a craft. Every kid. There might be some treats for some parents, too. Yeah, I don't know. Some treats. There's some other stuff. You guys need to come. It's it going to be, be so much fun. so fun. So make your reservations online. Go to the OC website. Mm -hmm. Use the app. Reserve your space. Reserve your space, for sure. OK, so let's con continue. Let's dive into our lessons today, and let's have some fun together. Hi guys, Hi. welcome to Kid City. We have an awesome lesson we're gonna continue to talk about. David! Yay! I mean, how epic is this story of David? It's pretty cool, right? It's awesome. Yes, it's, it's awesome. super cool. And the cool thing about David is his heart, what? Matched God's. Matches God's heart. That is so cool. We have a super fun video from Blinky and we are gonna watch that video and learn a little bit more about the different ways where our hearts can match God's heart. It's good information to know, right? Of course, yes. Of course. All right, guys, let's watch the video. Why, hello, Blinky. You look different today. That's because I'm a detective. I'm looking for God. But I can't see God anywhere. <laughs> You won't find God with a magnifying glass. He's way too big to see with your eyes. Then how am I going to get to know him? One way is to learn about him by reading your Bible every day. Oh, yeah. Let me try. Oh, Mr. Stone, I can't read yet. You can ask a grown-up or an older kid to read it to you. I'll read the Bible to you any time, Blinky. Gee, thanks, Mr. Stone. Are there any other ways to get to know God? Why, yes, Blinky. You can spend time singing to God to show you love him. Wow, I super duper love singing to God. So do I. But those aren't the only ways to get to know God. What? What else can I do? You can talk to God and listen to him. I know about that. Friends, what's it called when you talk to God? <laughs> Thank you, friends. It is called praying. Since praying to God helps me get to know him, I'm going to pray right now. Dear God, thanks for giving us special ways to get to know you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Wow, Blinky learned some great ways about how to get to know God better. One of my favorite ways to get to know God is to talk to him, and I do that by praying to him. Do you guys wanna pray with me? God, thank you so much for your love, and thank you for being here today with us. 
Thank you for being in all of our living rooms and here at the church. We just want to praise you, God. We love you. And thank you for keeping our families healthy through this time. And until we all get to come together again, we just ask for strength and peace. And we love you, God. And in Jesus' name, everybody said, Amen. 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 Wow, that's so awesome, Miss Mary Jo. Thank you for praying with us. Yeah, thank you. One of my favorite ways to get to know God is by reading the Bible. Do you guys remember our Bible verse? <laughs> Titus 3, 1. Be ready to do what is good. All right, awesome. Yeah, we definitely should read our Bible every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. And another awesome way that our heart can match God's heart and we can get to know God more is through praise and worship. Yes. Oh my gosh, we have some really cool songs. I don't know if you guys have been enjoying these songs that we've been doing this month, but they are super fun. And I just feel like it's super awesome for the time that we're in to get to know God yeah. and to just take time to yeah, worship him. Definitely. So I think now would be a great time for us to stand up and get ready to worship him so that our hearts can match God's heart. Exactly. And right after worship, it's going to be Kid Nation. Your guys' lesson's coming up right after. All right, bye, guys. We love bye. you so much. Bye. <laughs> He's the chosen one. He's the champion. The winner for all time. With me to the end. Jesus is my friend. Silence. 
Hey, Kid Nation! Um, I'm sure you remember our friend Miss Lissandra from 56. She's here with me today and we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to learn today more about God and more about um, the early church and what they did um, for God's kingdom. So last week, we learned about a man named Philip, a man chosen by the apostles to go out and tell people about Jesus. Do you remember the unlikely person who was saved because of Philip? Simon. Yes, that's correct. Simon the sorcerer was saved and baptized along with many other people. Philip wasn't afraid to continue spreading the good news about Jesus, and he continued to share the gospel with everyone he met, even people like Saul, who wanted to arrest and kill Christians. Isn't that crazy? Yes, that's crazy. He even continued to do that. So today's Bible story begins where we left off in Acts 8. This is the story. In the Bible, we find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. See the wonderful stories inside. Every day I'm searching read through history. Alive. All right. Hey, good morning. We are here. It's going to be an exciting day today because we're going to learn more about Philip. We're going to actually watch a video. It's okay. going to be great. Don't you think it's going to be kind of cool, Lissandra? Yeah, I think it's going to be cool. Yeah, okay. I know. It's going to be great. So this is what I really think is awesome. So we're actually studying the book of Acts. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about Acts is it's it's about all these disciples and how they, they were followers of Jesus, but then they acted on things Ooh, that God okay. actually told them. That's what I found so cool about okay. this book. That sounds awesome. Do you think we're ready to watch the video? Yeah, it's going to be a great time. I think, kids, are you ready? Parents, are you ready? All right, let's watch the video. Stories of the Bible, Philip and the Ethiopian. This is Philip, Hello. who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Philip preached the good news of Jesus in many places. One day, an angel of the Lord spoke to him and said, Go south down the desert road. I hear that. So Philip started out and he met the treasurer of Ethiopia. The man had gone to Jerusalem to worship and he was now returning to Ethiopia. He was in his carriage reading the book of Isaiah out loud. Hey there. The Holy Spirit said to Philip, Go over and walk along beside the carriage. Okay, I can do that. Philip ran over and heard the man reading and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? The man replied, How can I, unless someone teaches me? Come on up here. And he urged Philip to come up into the carriage and sit with him. Those parts here. The Ethiopian asked Philip, Tell me, was Isaiah talking about himself or someone else? So beginning with this scripture in Isaiah, Philip told the Ethiopian the good news about Jesus. As they rode along, they came to some water. Wait, 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 hold on. And the Ethiopian said, look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? He ordered the carriage to stop. Stop. And they went down into the water and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away and took him to another town. The Ethiopian never saw Philip again, but went on his way rejoicing. Wow, that was amazing. And you know what? That's not just a story. That's history. Mm -hmm. Whenever we read the stories from the Bibles, those are actual accounts of, the, of God's people and their history. And did you know that none of those things would have happened if Philip didn't listen to God? 
He could have chose to do whatever he wanted to do. He could have chose to be busy, but he chose to listen to God. Sometimes we feel that we may have a blindfold on. We feel that we're alone or we feel that we're too far away from God so that we're unable to build a relationship with God. But none of that is true. But we tend to believe those lies and that causes us not to read our Bible, not to pray. So we choose not to listen to God's voice. So right now I'm going to try something. I'm going to direct him to find this object right here. But I'm going to need your help and I'm going to need the help of my friends. So when I say three, I need you guys to yell and to make as much noise as you can. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, I need you to laugh? reach down, no, laugh? reach down. Wait, 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 reach right? Reach down, no, no, no. touch what? down, that, touch the table, what? touch the table. Okay, no. wait, 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 they, they said the move left. forward, they said no, move no, no, forward, no, no. hold on, move, hold on. No, listen no, to me, wait. listen to me. No, listen to me. What, 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 oh, okay, you, okay. you, wait, wait. Stop. All right, obviously you guys saw that that didn't work. He was unable to find the item because he was having a hard time listening to me. So now we're going to try something new. I need everyone to be completely quiet, all right? And I'm going to try to direct him to the item. All right, I need you to bring your hands up and set them down. Now, do you feel that right there in your left hand? I need yep. you to pick that up. All right. And with your right hand, yep. I need you to try and open it. All right. Let me see. There you go. All right, okay. All right, great, great. Now bring right. it towards your mouth. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, what? All right. All and right. eat it. Oh, man. Do you know what that is? Oh, that was so good. That's like the best candy bar in the world. All right. We can take the blindfold off. Oh, nice. To Snickers. Oh, All right. Snickers. So you guys see how he was able to listen to me without any distractions, without you guys yelling? That's the same with us and hearing God's voice. Whenever we go to God and pray with God and talk to God, we have to make sure that we take away all of the distractions so that we can listen to what God is trying to tell us. Yeah, absolutely. It was mm -hmm. so much easier when I could hear your soft, still voice, you know, uh, and, and get rid of all the noise. Yeah. You know, it made it so much easier to get to where I needed to go. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, hey, Kid Nation, we are part of that uh, Let's Glow series, and we haven't done the memory verse in a couple weeks, so we wanted to do it together with you guys. So kids, parents... If you want to join in and, and, and follow along with us, we're going to do it right now. Okay, are you ready, Lysandra? Yep, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. All right. While, While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Of the world. And that's John 9, 9, 5. So right now, for any of you that struggle with listening to God and hearing his voice, I want to pray, and I want you guys to repeat this prayer after me. All right? So let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For loving me. For loving me. Thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus. To die. To die. For my sins. For my sins. God, today. God, today. I pray. I pray. That you will help me. That you will help me. To listen to you. To listen to you. And hear your voice. And hear your voice. Help me. Help me. To remove all of the distractions. To remove all the distractions. So that I. So that I. Can focus on you. So that I can focus on you. God, I love you. Uh, God, I love you. And I thank you. And I thank you. And in your name. In your name. Amen. Amen.